friends, and welcome back. This is a view at 4 o'clock this morning from our downtown tower camera. And then whoo, there we go. There's the fog uh, moving in pretty quickly after the latest front has pushed on in. And our temperatures are down to about the mid 40s here in Amarillo. The fog continuing across mainly the northern and northeastern parts of the Texas Panhandle all the way up into southwestern Kansas. Here's our national view of uh, what's going on with radar and satellite map showers and storms continuing along the same front all the way back over towards the Tennessee River Valley. That cold front moving into the Texas Panhandle as well. High level clouds blanketing the area like they did yesterday, although some of us do have the low clouds additionally here at close to the surface. Then the next upper level system pinwheeling off the west coast of the United States. You can see it bringing some wet weather to our friends in California and Nevada and Arizona as well. That system as it moves over the high plains this afternoon time won't have really a whole lot of moisture to work with. In addition to that, the cap of warm air aloft will be strong enough to prevent any storms from developing. It does break down a little bit for, say, our northern cap say the Oklahoma panel in southwestern Kansas later on tonight. A few pop up rain showers not out of the question, but that chance is not very high. Back to what's going on right now. We have a dense fog advisory in effect for our southwestern Kansas counties until 11 o'clock. That visibility at times getting less than a quarter of a mile. And of course, that's the case up around liberal visibility right at a quarter of a mile, uh, basically seeing a few blocks in front of you. And that's about it. So make sure to slow down if you have to drive through any fog here in town. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s right around 7 o'clock. By noon, we'll see the fog clearing out to really the fog will be done by about 9 or 10 and will heat up to around 65 degrees winds turning in from the south from the southwest for the remainder of the day the winds cranking up to around the 15 to 25 mile per hour range and a high temperature 76 here in Amarillo where the clouds stick around though we're going to see cooler conditions today with highs and set in the 60s let's take a look at our lake levels Lake Meredith now rising to 77 feet deep even we're at uh, set 47.77 feet deep for, uh, towards uh, Greenbelt Lake and Ute Lake at 81.17 and holding steady from what it was yesterday. On our seven day forecast, we'll continue on with warmer than average conditions for your Tuesday. We'll heat up to a high of 73 here in town. Ample sunshine all across the board. We're up into the 80s for Wednesday and Thursday with increasing wind speeds. Intense winds, in fact, for Thursday afternoon with the wildfire danger definitely back in place. Avoid any outdoor burning. We'll cool off to 71 degrees still on the windy side on Friday, but a few thunderstorms likely Friday night into Saturday morning. Won't be much cooler for Saturday and Sunday, but not unpleasant. You can always check out that seven day forecast at myplanes.com.